For model, we first start with creating part. We go with part, creating part, 3D, analytic allergy, revolver shell, and we put one for here, then we try to create a circle. The radius should be 0 0.25, and now we can trim half of it, so it's gonna be like this. Uh, for sheet, we can go with 3D, deformable, uh, we need to create shell, planner, mm, one is good. Uh, the first point is minus 10 centimeter, and the second point is positive 10 centimeter for X and Y direction. Here it is. And then we can go to property. At first, I'm start with ball. For ball, we first need to create datum. Here, we use midway two point. Now you can see the point in the middle of the ball. And after that, you need to define the reference point for it. Here. After defining the reference point, we can go and define the material property. We go with the spatial property, mass, inertia, and then uh, we select the reference point. We say that it's about one kilogram. Um, we don't need to fill this because we're gonna fix the ball. Yeah, and now we can go for the plate. In here, we need to define density, which is uh, 7800 elastic 200 gigapascal and Poisson ratio is 0.3 elastic is uh, 206 0 and the second one 256 0.1 and also we need to define the damage property for damage we need to define ductile damage here we select 0 0.001 and for the rest we select 0 okay and then we can define damage evolution here 0 0.02 um yeah that's pretty much all of it now we can go for assigning the material property to the part shell homogeneous the value of thickness is, is four millimeter so 0 0.005 uh, we can assign the section to part now section one fine now we can go for assembly in as in assembly we put two parts now we need to move the ball about five centimeter this first point is the center and the second point is 0 0.05 yeah good and now we can go for the step we need to create a explicit step dynamic explicit 0 0.0002 second for it and we don't need to use mass scaling for this part and also we, because we want to see the element deletion during uh, simulation we need to activate the status variable you can go in here and then you need to check the status in here and now we can go for interaction in interaction we need to define the contact for contact we need to go for surface to surface contact because we define the ecology part in here so we go with surface surface contact this is this should be the uh, first one which is master and uh, the master part it is brown surface and the second one is brown so 
you can see the first bar is ball and the second surface is the plate now we can define the friction between ball and plate because both are metal so the friction is 0 0.3 and now we can go for load in load we need to fix the plate at first we select symmetry anti-symmetry and caster boundary condition we select all edges here we use a caster now we need to define the velocity initial velocity we go for the predefined field mechanical velocity in here and then it should be all so we can pick the node the reference point from here the velocity in z direction it should be minus 100 meter per second okay we, need, we don't need to put the dimension uh, for the other direction it is zero and also we need to fix this point from uh, rotating because we didn't define inertia for it so I fix these three and now we can see them here can move it to left so it's the start from the beginning so everything's fine now we can go for mesh in here we need to define the mesh size we select this one here the element size is 0 0.005 and then we can select the formulation we need to put the explicit shell we, we can check this it reduces the accuracy but it increases the speed uh, it's good for now I thought I checked it and now we can mesh it uh, that's a good mesh for it and then we can see both parts together here and I think we, we are ready to create a job and start our model so now I go for creating a job job one we can increase the number of processors in here but it's not necessary for now everything's fine now we can submit it now you can see the job is completed so we can see the results okay here it is it's so fast so we can we need to make it slower here it is you can see the ball penetrates the plates uh, you can see residual uh, the stress and also the distance the speed of the ball after and before and after impact and the plastic equivalent strain thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this video uh, please give us your feedback and um, let us know your idea and if you needed any video or any model please let us know so we can create them for you thank you very much bye